Come Have Coffee with Michelle is sponsored by Cincinnati Museum Center. It is time to come have coffee, and for this one, we are headed to Norse country. That's right, Northern Kentucky University and President Katie Short Thompson's first year. We are leaning into who she is, her passion and plans, and of course, we're going to have a little fun because after all, this is come have coffee with Michelle. I just absolutely feel like this is where I'm meant to be. On a stroll on the campus of Northern Kentucky University with Katie Short Thompson, there's a pep in her step. Living the dream from professor at NKU to president of NKU. So how does it feel after one year? It feels so good. I can't believe it's been a year. It's been the fastest year of my life. This was the day that the board uh, voted uh, to approve my my role as president here at NKU, and it's just been nonstop, but in the best way. Katie's home again after stops at University of Cincinnati Blue Edge, Hope College in Michigan, and a brief stint as a CEO of a local nonprofit. Katie is clearly a people person, willing to get in and mix it up with students with a pop-up trivia game. Who is NKU's current president? Literally no idea. <laughs> it's awesome. Any ideas? It is me. <laughs> That's the fun of the work, right? I mean, we're in a university where the whole point is to engage our students in all of the ways, teaching them, doing research with them, serving alongside of them, learning with them. And, you know, I never lose sight of the fact that it's their ambition, their altruism, their um, energy, it's palpable, and just being with them, I think it energizes all of us. And I know you have a lot going on here yeah. at NKU. What are you most excited about? Oh my goodness. I've heard so, about so many things. We're really excited about access to education, and we provide such a high quality education that's affordable. We were just named the 29th best value in the country, and that's a big right. deal. Yeah. It says that essentially we've answered the call of what the American public wants. They want to be able to afford it. They want a high quality education. There's something to be said about being in a place where if you're not in class that the faculty know and they, they reach right. out to make sure everything's okay, that right. they know you by name and ambition, that they help connect you to the co-curricular and the extracurricular activities so that you, know, you can have the full experience. Tell me a little bit about you. Um, what do you care about? Yeah. Your passion? I get really excited about the life change that happens on this campus and how different they are by the time they graduate and realize the positions of their futures. I mean, it's just exciting just to see that arc, that trajectory that students experience. And, and whatever role we play here at the university, each of us has a part in that. It's addictive. I mean, it, it, to see <laughs> um, students come in as first year students and then to shake their hands as they're graduating at commencement, there's nothing quite like it. You're a mom of college students too. That's right. So that, that's a unique perspective. There's no question. I, I oftentimes find myself treating my, my own kids like a sample of, you know, three. I'm often, <laughs> you know, asking them questions about, you know, what was confusing to them when they went to college. Many of the conversations happen at the family dinner table. Is that important to you to sit down and have dinner together? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I actually, for the entire time I've worked and the entire time I've juggled family, I'm a decent cook and I've been really good about homemade dinners over the years. And that was our, our steady drum beat at our house every single night. So and, what's your favorite thing to cook? Oh my goodness. So I love spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> I just love. I do too. <laughs> I love and homemade and that yeah. they cook all day. I can't do it on a weekday. But yeah. It's our family's favorite. I'm so glad to be in Norse country and so glad, again, to be having coffee with you. Happy to, happy to be with you, Michelle. Cheers. Cheers. And she is just a delight. I love her personality. Cheers to Katie as she begins her second year at NKU and to many more years there. Coming up next time on Come Have Coffee, a woman who has risen from poverty to prosperity. What a journey for philanthropist Barbara Turner. We're going to hear all about it and how she is helping other women achieve and succeed. Barbara's incredible story. That is next time on Come Have Coffee. You may know their names, but how well do you really know Cincinnati's most prominent people? Come Have Coffee gives you a chance to get to know them a lot better. Watch this Cincy Lifestyle special streaming now. Find WCPO9 everywhere you stream and scroll to specials.